When I got that training ground to just lead worship every Sunday, we had five services when I was at mm. fellowship. So I was like in tip top vocal shape at that point. So when I stepped out to do my own music, it's literally how it came out. You know, I was just really being authentically me and not trying to fit into anything. That's why it's probably my favorite album because I didn't have any standards or any industry stuff in my head to live up to or to compare to or mm -hmm. any of that. I was just being really authentic. And that's what came out. That's why we called it Worship Soul because it was really those, those worlds colliding. So anything that I do is always that sound. I feel like I just started my own little genre at that point. And throughout my journey, even with, I won't call it pressure, but suggestions from, you know, label executives at that time, you know, why, why don't you redo some of these worship songs or why don't mm -hmm. you do some of these type, you know, CCM worship songs and why didn't you do this? And I just gave a quick like, no, you know, no, I, I don't, uh, I don't feel connected to that, you know? So my husband and I do my music together. Shout out to Rick Robinson. Hey, Rick. Uh, he wrote more than anything. He wrote Speechless, some of those beautiful songs that I sing and he knows my voice. So he knows how to write for me. I have a lower alto voice. I used to be intimidated because it wasn't really high and I don't do all those fancy runs and stuff. I didn't know exactly where I would fit and throughout my journey, I've been told, you know, you don't fit on radio, you don't fit here, and we don't know what to do with you. But I just I just have to give it to God. I have to give that thanks and gratitude to God for keeping me grounded, humble, and certain of myself. 